I'm a superhero now, so that's normal. It's definitely not every day that an MCU superfan ends up starring in a Marvel series, especially one that has zero professional acting experience. The Miss Marvel show has it all. A young, bright-eyed star, visuals to die for, and a whole lot of Marvel love. Fans of the MCU, are you ready for this? My heart is very full. Number one, this has got to be a scam. Or is it? This was just something that felt so faded that I had to try. When Iman Vellani was forwarded a WhatsApp message from her aunt, she was pretty sure she was being punked. Super sketchy. I don't know what casting calls look like. But Vellani didn't let the fact that it wasn't the most legit seeming message stop her from taking a chance. I sent in my self tape at like 3 a.m., wasn't gonna do it. Next thing she knew, she got a call from Marvel Studios requesting she fly to LA to audition. And I was like, I have a math test. But no worries, she knew where her priorities were and she lived a real life dream going to the Marvel Studios. It was the coolest feeling ever and I wanted to take full advantage of, of being there. Then the dream got interrupted when the pandemic hit and the road to Marvel became a bit more complicated. And my next screen test got canceled. After waiting for a few months, Iman was getting anxious and she also had some decisions to make about college and time was running out. They ask for another screen test over Zoom. And that was the last audition she did for Marvel. Number two, this doesn't happen every day. It was the last day of school, we were gonna get burritos, and then this happened. What made it even more intense was the fact that she hadn't told her friends about the fact that she auditioned. But she could not keep her cool when she opened up the Zoom call to Kevin Feige's face. You've done amazing work, and we'd be honored if you would play uh, Kamala Khan for us in the Miss Marvel show. And it was a unanimous decision. And we know how the rest of the story goes. Number three, she may be new to the MCU, but she wasn't shy about taking what she wanted. I stole a lot from our show. We're not just talking about swiping an item here and there or keeping a costume piece. This was a fully planned affair. My assistant and I went around the entire stage and were taking photos of everything I wanted to steal. And on the last day, I was saying bye to people and she was putting things in bags and we shipped everything home. Laurel Marsden was very into her costume as well. And then they put on the boots and I was like, I can keep these, right? It was a hard no, but not for long. They left them in my trailer and I still have the boots. I wear them all the time. Number four, Miss Marvel and Captain Marvel make a winning combo. It's a very similar relationship to Kamala and Carol Danvers in the yeah. comics and, and like me and Brie in real life. Brie Larson reached out to the newest member of the Marvel fam to hang out on FaceTime, immediately becoming her mentor and guiding her through navigating the MCU and what comes along with being a superhero. If Valani was struggling, she could shoot a text and her mentor would just hop on a call with her. How, how to keep your cool when yeah. it's so overwhelming, you know, around you. Number five. If you're gonna be a superhero, you gotta do some stunts. I got this, right? Iman Vellani may be new, but she took on many of her own stunts, showing off her best battle moves and pulling off all sorts of wire work. Number six. This was a definite upgrade from the costume she made herself for Halloween many years ago. It's just so hard to like, be like, yeah, you're here. Mark him to Marvel. That's my slogan. Oh yeah, the homemade costume was real, but when she suited up for the first time... I kind of stopped staring at myself. And neither could anyone else. There were so many people who wanted to be in the room when we were trying on the costume for the first time because everyone was so giddy and excited. But she quickly discovered one of the biggest downsides of the MCU life. And I was like, I have to go to the bathroom and now I need help. Number seven, Avengers who work out together stay together. Miss Marvel was filming in Atlanta next door to the Loki series and No Way Home, so superheroes were regularly bumping into each other. We were like what in is the that gym like? right before work, and then there's this guy doing like crazy box jumps. And how did they fare with the mischievous workout? Iman was fine, <laughs> I was wheezing. Number eight, she was just a Marvel lover living her Marvel dream. And this was the best dream of all. Episode one features the Avenger Con, and it also happened to be one of the last scenes shot in studio in Atlanta. Iman Vellani was walking into this set blind since the production team didn't allow her to see the set until she got there to film. They wanted me to have a genuine reaction. And it was oh so worth it. I just remember just not being able to speak. It was, it was like, Marvel vomit. It's what I want my bedroom to look like. Number nine. This one took some workshopping. 
I've been practicing my superhero pose for, for like years, long before this part. A lot of the poses we see in the series are familiar, and that was part of the fun. We wanted to like have a lot of Black Widow poses and like cool Captain Marvel poses. One of the most fun aspects of being a superhero would definitely be being excited that you're a superhero. And this team did not hold back. This is like the only show where we can like really be cheesy and, and embrace the, the, you know, how exciting it would be if, if any fan became a superhero. Number 10. Most Marvel rehearsals don't involve board games, but that didn't mean they couldn't. And our rehearsal was just playing Settlers of Catan together. The team suggested Iman and Matt have a solo rehearsal with their director, Mira Menon, but it became more of a bonding session. And I remember <laughs> oh, thinking, no. This girl's awesome. <laughs> Playing the game with Valani was very telling of what it would be like to work together on set. I remember at one point I did something wrong. I put a bridge where I wasn't supposed to put a bridge and Iman was like, you, you can't do that. Number 11. Was this character based on Iman Valani? It's being myself on a larger scale. Before filming, the producers and directors did a deep dive into who Amon Vellani was, what her school life was like, who she had crushes on, what her interests were, essentially hand-painting this character to suit the actress playing her. It just made it really easy for me to kind of slip into the character as well. To be fair, it wasn't too much of a stretch. She was Pakistani and she was Muslim and a superhero fanatic. I was a Pakistani Muslim superhero fanatic. Like, that's just insane. The fact that she knew the character from the comics inside and out helped too. But at the end of the day, she really was perfect for the role. Yeah, I literally put my entire self into this show. Number 12, who doesn't love a good improv? When Mira Menon was in the directing chair, she wanted to have a free and loose set where the actors felt able to make the characters their own and really dig into the vibes. Give them some loose ends to play with. Whenever filming, before and after a written scene, Menon told the actors to have at it and improvise their way through, always making sure to include the lines in the script as well, of course. Number 13. Bringing authenticity to the forefront was key for this project. I mean, it was authenticity all around. And they got it. Kamala's family dynamics reflected the culture. She's your very, very typical South Asian mother, protective and loving and kind, but also can like kick a little bit of butt when she needs to. And on screen, we get to see the mosque that Kamala Khan goes to alongside multiple other cultural aspects, marking special importance since all of that does become part of Khan's journey. I just put a lot of my real life into, into Kamala's character and making her as authentic as possible. Number 14. Those relationships on screen translate off screen. We didn't have to deal with any drama. You can't fake chemistry like what we see in the show. The actors all spent endless amounts of time together, creating real life bonds that were shockingly strong. Until the point that the team realized this production fam was the real deal. Number 15. Who doesn't love an international trip? Part of the reason the cast bonded so well was because they got to travel the world together. Filming a Marvel movie and then hanging out in London, England is not a bad deal at all. Iman Vellani never stopped working it seems, even creating a video of her adventures hitting up London with the cast during their time off. And remember, when she wasn't doing this, she was bringing Kamala Khan to the screen. Real life superhero much? Miss Marvel is a Marvel. There's no doubt about that. And this is just the beginning, since she's already filmed alongside Brie Larson for the Marvels film. Villani has been dreaming up collabs with other MCU characters. Who would you want to see her share the screen with?